Okay. okay so I'm, back live, on live. I'm live on YouTube now. I was able to get on it. Okay, okay. Um, I don't know about this. Um, I don't know about the, the, the Instagram. Oh, here it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's cool. There's forces working against me. So what? Somebody doesn't want us to be online. All right. We're back in business. All right, we're back. All right. Let's go. Welcome back, everybody, to Money Mondays, of course. I am your host, Alexis, joined by Carl Macias, loan officer, our co-host. And today we're talking about money mistakes, common money mistakes that we make as a culture and how we can fix them so that we can better reach our goals. All right. So, Carl, go ahead and start us off with the conversation. Oh, yeah. So, before we were rudely interrupted... Um, I said that one of the common money mistakes is that we don't save for retirement. So us as a people, we don't invest in mutual funds, Roth IRAs. Um, we don't even do stocks. Most of us do. The closest thing we get to stocks is 401k. So it's kind of like you want to expand your knowledge on other other vehicles of investment besides this 401k that you get from your job. And if you do get it from your job, like, at least match what they're matching, right? So if they match three percent, you want to put in three percent. Um, and don't don't cheat yourself. Like that doesn't make sense. Okay. How about credit cards? Credit cards are a big one. So we obviously need to build credit because we need to purchase homes. We need to purchase cars. But one thing we don't know, and that's how to use the credit card effectively we shouldn't be maxing it out every month and we shouldn't be only paying the minimum payment pay a little bit more than just the minimum payment because you'll never get out of that loan if you're just going to be 25 dollars every month it doesn't make sense to pay back 500 dollars over three years and a, the biggest one i think a money mistake number one would be to not talk about money amongst yourself, amongst your peers, amongst um, your children. You know, yeah, that's getting, huge. spreading the word, getting you know different ideas from different people, researching, and just educating everybody so everybody has a piece of that pie. Do you talk to your? Do you talk to like your parents about finances or? My parents did not teach me about finances whatsoever, and that's the the main driving force for this platform because I myself made so many mistakes in my past that now I'm paying for them. So right. talking to your children can can save them from a lifetime of mistakes, of course. Like, um, for example, I recently started getting into Forex trading and I have a 10-year-old son. I have him sit down and as I'm learning, he's learning too. No, as you said, I mean, it's definitely your parent, uh, your job as a parent to extend the runway, you know what I mean? So you definitely want to make sure they learn everything, absorb it. How you, how you doing with Forex, by the way? Forex, I'm, I've been busy, Money Monday client, so I haven't put in that time like I want to, and I'm moving, so it's crazy over in these parts, but once I find the time to really sit down and, and get in front of the computer like I want to, we gonna make a hundred thousand dollars off for us this month. This month. Easy. That's a, that's a great claim. That's a great claim. <laughs> yeah, that's that's big. No, I like that. Um, what else? What else we have? What other common mistakes? On credit. So a lot of people who don't understand credit think that spending cash only is the way to go. Absolutely not. Right. You need to play the game. You need to play the game while you're here on this earth. So if credit, if credit is the name of the game, you need to learn how to use your credit, leverage your credit, and use your cash to get you more credit. So um, I was working at a title loan place a few years ago. And if people, if you're not familiar with title loans, basically you take the, the title to your car and you get a loan advance on it. So I have this mm -hmm. one gentleman come in and he had a brand new 2018 Mazda Sport 
every every um addition you can ever think of he had on that car he paid cash for it his credit was under 600 and you're coming really? to me for a title well, loan well, on well, a well, well. <laughs> and he said that was the biggest mistake i've ever made i didn't even tell my right. accountant i just went and did it and now i have nothing to show for it uh -huh. wow so was he able to build credit or you don't know i'm not i don't know that was a few years ago now yeah that's kind of crazy that's kind of, i mean I, I definitely oh man i definitely believe that credit is a strong is strong like you need credit no matter what i'm like really getting another call can you hear that no good all right so i think credit is really important no because you know what i'm doing why are you calling me you know what i mean um uh, I definitely feel like you have to build up credit. So, like, anybody out there that has no credit, you need to get it. Like, no matter what, you have to build on it. Um, so, if you are thinking about a house, the first thing you want to know is if you have credit or not. Uh, ironically enough, within the last week, I came across three people that didn't have any credit at all. And, and you know, it was not like they were young. I mean, their, their, age, their ages vary. But it was it was just a surprise to see no credit score, you know, especially three times in a row. It's, it's crazy. And also, when we're talking about credit, it's not just the number. People need to realize that, pe that we're looking for different types of credit to show your responsibility in different areas. So we're looking for auto loans. We're looking for um, mortgages, student loans, stuff like that, besides just credit cards. And if you want to start off with a credit card, start with a secure card because you're putting your own money on that card. So you're going to be more responsible with a secure card than you would be with the Bank of America. Trust me, because then they're done that. <laughs> <laughs> I hear you. Hold up. Uh, shout out to friend of the show, Hippie. Hippie, yeah. Hey. Hippie just said she was the one calling me. Like, you know what I'm doing, you know? That is But, uh, it's crazy. Uh, what else did I have on here? Um, oh, especially people in, in my age bracket, we tend to save for retirement. Um, actually, let me rephrase that. We tend to, we always want to save for retirement, right? But when we're a parent, we tend to forego retirement and use that for our kids' college fund. Like, not sound like harsh or anything, but your kid can always get a loan for that. Right, you can't get a loan for your retirement. I'm actually very glad you brought up college because I have that on my list too. And I actually think co college is a money mistake. Getting into debt to go to school to learn is a money mistake because you can mm -hmm. go and get the same education online and get a certificate for much cheaper than you can go to a four year institution. Um, that's one. Number two, you can also like. Uh, there's ways to play around it. You can go to a two-year community college and transfer. There's a greater chance that you would get um, free money, scholarships, stuff like that, grants. Uh, How many people go to college and use their degree? I have. I went to University of Miami. I graduated from the University of Miami, and I am doing YouTube and real estate. That's not what I went to school for. So what you go to school for? What you go to school for? I got a degree in psychology. Uh, how many I can see how that, that, that could be useful for uh, YouTube. I can see that. And real estate. You, for YouTube, yes. Actually, for, in my case, <laughs> yes. Yes, okay. So, right, right. That wasn't, but you get my drift. <laughs> not everybody is so lucky. <laughs> right, right, right. But definitely. There's a broad range, but it works. How many of us go to college, spend time, and we don't even end up in our profession? We end up in some else or where we can never find a job so how are we going to pay off that debt to buy our home that's true that's true like many people they definitely what about the people that graduate right and they owe 120 but only make 40,000 a year like that's crazy exactly exactly which brings us to investing um people need to invest even in stocks and bonds for x like we mentioned earlier um, there's there's so many ways to invest. There's so many apps that you can get to invest your money. You don't want to just sit on your money and not have it do anything. And if you don't know where to start, just get on your computer and research. There's so many ways 
You can do tax things if you want to do real estate. You can buy and flip. Um, there's the the list is endless, truthfully. Yeah, no, you're absolutely right. Um, what else do I have? Uh, yeah, oh, we we don't save enough. Absolutely. So yeah, I definitely believe that we should we should have at least six to nine months of uh, expenses saved. Um, just for rainy days. And how you do that would be to save I guess ten percent of each paycheck, or save ten to twenty percent of your yearly salary. Yeah, yeah, no, without a doubt, that that's a great one. Um, what else you got? Splurging on unnecessary items like television, our phones, um, getting the most expensive cars. Like, do we need a Mercedes or can we drive a Toyota? Do we need to watch TV? I I honestly haven't watched TV in years, because and, and that's not to say. I don't watch TV at all, but I can get the same things on my computer. The expense is unnecessary. Right. We also, tend to live beyond our means. Yes, exactly. Living beyond our means. Going out to eat. You know, when we have food at home. Small things like that. Um, also, not getting health insurance. Not getting health insurance is a big money mistake because what if, God forbid, you end up in the hospital. Hospital bills are very expensive. Or just have a baby. Having a baby is very expensive. Are you prepared to come out of your pocket with forty grand for a hospital bill? Because you don't have. That's a good one. Mark, what's going on? Shout out to everybody that just joined. We're going over common money mistakes that we tend to make, and we're trying, you know. And how in the, in the bud as well? If you guys want to join in and you have some money mistakes that you think. You want to share and let everybody in on don't be shy comment yeah yeah absolutely it is an interactive show each one reach one we appreciate it let's bring up one for the youngest because this is something that i used to do when you work in retail okay. do not shop where you work do not that was me why not because you're giving your paycheck right why not? back I was okay. one of those who worked at Bath and Body Works, and especially when the sales was on, because I would get sales deals on top of discounts. And I was, I had a store in my own house. That's how bad it was. Same thing when I used to work at Torrid, which is the clothing store. I would give my, and that that clothing store is expensive. I would give my paycheck right back. You don't want to be doing that. Don't don't oh. shop where you work. Okay, that, that's I never heard that one, but that's a, I get it, I get it. Um, for us older folks, life insurance. We definitely want life insurance policies. Uh, like I said, I'm I'm a big champion of making things better for the kids before before we go right. So you want to have life insurance so you can take care of your family, take care of your kids, and just leave them something you know in your absence, even though it may suck to talk about it or um you got to have those conversations because it's, it's inevitable it's going to happen yeah you know so you definitely want to make sure you have life insurance in play um you don't want to you don't want to pass and everybody has to fight over what's left or try to figure it out themselves you kind of want to make sure you take the proper steps and put that into play absolutely absolutely and it's all about planning in life um one of the things i had on here was not making a budget with anything, you need to make a plan, whether it's a business, whether it's just your bills, whether it's, you know, um, your goals. You have to sit down and write it out, make a plan. How am I going to get there? How are my bills going to get paid? And and um, budgeting is more important, too, and actually sitting there and write it down so that you can see, are there any miscellaneous items that I can get rid of? For sure. Budgeting is huge. I think budgeting is huge. If if you take anything away from this the, this live, you have to budget. Like that's one of the most important things. And if you stick with your budget and you not necessarily you may not be able to plan for everything, but if you stick to your budget, you'll appreciate it that much more. Yes, 
stick to your plan. Um, I would say stick to the plan at least for six months. Once you get to the six months point, point, review it. Is it working for me? Is there things that I can change? And you implement new ideas and you go back at it six months and you'll see like it's it's not a race to get to a finish point. It's right. slow and steady. Natural progression. Exactly. Took the words right out of my mouth. Thoughts. I got you. And people also they need to think about the long term decisions that they their uh, their think about what the long term effects are that your decisions are making. So mm -hmm. if you're going to rent a place, let's say your rent is like three thousand, can you really afford that in two years? Right. That's just a number that I'm throwing out of course. Right, right. Uh, I'm hoping their rent isn't three thousand. You should be buying a mansion and having a mortgage for that much. <laughs> hopefully, hopefully. Imagine that's kind of it's kind of steep, yeah. but yeah. What else? I have um, built an emergency fund. Yeah. But that's that's somewhere to save in the six to nine months. Um, life insurance. So that. Yeah. Spending money before Pretty much. you. Um, my... So like counting. Oh, yeah. yeah. I forgot all about that. <laughs> right, right, right. Counting so your like, eggs before they hatch. Exactly. How many of us do that? Like, oh, we about to get paid, so I'm just going to take that money out. You know, the, the, AT yeah, the that's ATM huge. machine gives you a little extra hundred dollars sometimes. Um, or it's only a hundred. It's only a hundred. It's, it's something, but um. It adds yeah. up. It adds up, and then let's say, God forbid, you do that and something happens, you're not your paycheck is being paid by an unexpected bill. So, right, definitely right. Be spending money before we get there. You got, you got, um, yeah, pretty much tap dancing. Okay, <laughs> stripper working for you. <laughs> Chill, I'm <tell> everybody. <laughs> So, no. for everybody who's just tuning in, we're going to recap for a little bit. We're talking about some money mistakes, common money mistakes that we make as a whole that we need to get away from so that we can get to our goals much quicker, much faster, which would be um, paying only the minimum on credit cards. We need to be paying a little bit more mm -hmm. than just the minimum. We need to be building our credit. Um, we shared a way that you can build your credit would be to get a secured card. We talked about getting health and life insurance. We talked about... Um, saving for retirement versus paying for college because there's other um, avenues and paying money to go to school. You can do the same thing online or you can go into business for yourself. Um, you should be saving 10% of each check that you receive or save 10 to 20% of your yearly uh, income So that, and have a rainy day fund. Make sure that you're planning Make sure that you're budgeting and sticking to your plans, sticking to your budgets, revising and reviewing um, as you go along. And, yeah, and definitely. think about the long-term effects that your decision will have. It's not only about short-term, it's about long-term. Anything you're doing, how is this going to affect me? How is this going to affect my family, my children, and so on and so forth. Absolutely. And that will count eggs before, before the hatch. Like, like, that's, that's huge. huge. All right, that's huge. Especially, especially um, especially now in our business, right? We get excited, we're about, about to get a check, and it's like, oh, check's coming in, and then something may happen if it's a or delay it for whatever reason. reason. Hopefully, delay it. You know, that's that's definitely big. Um, we talked about budgeting. Uh, that's super important. You definitely want to budget. There was something else that just I can't believe I just skipped my brain just now. Investing. Um, we talked about. Yeah. Um, not splurging on unnecessary things, um, right? right. Like writing down every expense to see if there's something miscellaneous that you can get rid of. We've talked Keeping about up with the Joneses. Oh, yeah. We've we talked talk about, about that, that, but that's, but that's a definitely, definitely a big, big thing. thing. I don't want to stay in your lane, lane especially when it comes to finances. Like, like, um, I understand you may have friends that go out every week, but it may not be conducive or could be a pocket for you to go out every week and you may not be able to afford something like that. So you don't, you, if you are going to go out, you want to you want to budget. Absolutely, absolutely. And here's a money hack. 
So how many of us go out to the store and we buy something we never use it and it's just sitting there? Start going around your home and looking for those items that you never use or bought and wore one time or still have the tag. I have clothes that still have the tag on it. Start selling them. Get your money back. Take it back to the store if you can. My mother is someone who will buy something and she'll refuse to go back to the store and make another trip. So she'll just be stuck with the item. That's throwing away money and we don't need to do that. Return your no, items, sell your items, and, and also, for those of us who like to have um, home decor, start doing projects on your own, DIY. You know, there's plenty of um, tips on YouTube or online on Etsy and Pinterest that you can find to make your house look gorgeous without spending that bit. That that's all right. Um, anybody in our comment section have anything to add to our money mistakes or money hacks? Anybody? Anybody? Yo, Hippie was kind of quiet today. She must have bounced out. So, um, why don't we start wrapping it up, Carl? I would like yeah, yeah. to give um, my main takeaways from this live would just be to think about your long-term effects. Um, don't shop where you work, obviously. And if you fail to plan, you plan to fail. That's the truth. That's the truth. Uh, main takeaways, budget, budget, and budget. Like, there's nothing more important than that. You just got a budget. Um, and plan, yeah, plan, just keep playing. That's all I got. All right, everybody. This has been another episode of Money Mondays. Thank you for joining us. Next week, we're going to be talking about why it's important for you to actually have your own business. So, um, if you're interested in that, go ahead and take some time and uh, comment your questions now under our post so that next week we'll already be answering those. Let us know. Let us know. All right, everybody. Thank you so much for joining, and we'll see you on Monday. All right, Joe.